Well, my reaction is the exposure of John Bresenio, the Prime Minister of this country, uh, for corruption. The definitive agreement uh, is abhorrent, uh, as the Prime Minister, the former Prime Minister Barrow said, and former AG uh, Senator Perfit uh, have both said, uh, unauthorized, illegal. I can assure you that uh, when I am Prime Minister, one of the first legislations uh, that we will pass is to ensure that uh, no such agreement or no such legislations uh, could be enacted um, after Parliament is dissolved. Uh, to me, um, that is unethical. Uh, and the fact that the Prime Minister of this country, who I have long told you, I have long said that Portico was the favored port project. I have gone on record to say that when we would discuss uh, the perceived and know we can say the actual prejudices suffered by other port projects. It is clear when we have a prime minister that has, his government has canceled every contract that the UDP has done. Bolido, again, uh, I, I don't necessarily agree uh, with uh, that contract to begin with, um, but the prime minister, it's a legally binding contract. That was not done the way that the Portico definitive agreement was done. Um, and while I don't agree with the profit sharing that was taking place between government and uh, Brad's Bolido, it is a legally binding contract, the that. How is it now that we have the prime minister saying, this is a binding contract and there's nothing we could do, then presenting that same definitive agreement, not doing what he is trying to present now, after the, the GX revolted against him, his cabinet revolted against him because of his presentation of that same definitive agreement, he didn't take that definitive agreement and mold it and shape it into a form that was uh, beneficial to the Belizean people, as I, I hear they are now going to do because he has been caught.